Hey, welcome hey. everybody to Synchronize. My name is James Chen, and we are joined in the flesh again by <sighs> Kitty Kaboom <laughs> and uh, no. Mike, uh, aka Olaf. So, how are you guys doing? I'm really I... glad you give us warnings when the mic goes hot because that would have been a terrible thing for them to hear first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I do it. Uh -huh. uh, that's why I do it. Got to be professional. Mike, mics are going hot. Mics are going hot. Woo, woo. Yeah. Got to shut my mouth. Yeah. It's going to be a good show. Yeah. It's going to be a good show. No, we are doing wonderful. Um, Evo is slowly approaching. Oh, God. Oh, and we've got <sighs> so much it, stuff going on. It'd be creeping on. up on us. It'd be creeping like that. Too. It's, it's crazy. Like that. Like, I keep feeling like Evo is still so far away. Right? But, but it's like... Less what? than a month. Is it... Is it less shit? than a month? Yeah. Yeah. Literally... Last time I remember what we were talking about, it was like seven weeks away. Look, look, look. It is July 6th. Mm, okay. Right. Mm. Yeah. We're already in like day day three for us. Being over there, mm -hmm. because we're going to get there the 3rd, right. and we're leaving the 8th. Oh, boy. Because we're and taking time to ourselves and not dealing with the Sunday traffic, because mm -hmm. no. We learned that the first time. Oh, we yeah, need, uh, do not drive home. I mean, I don't even want to drive home on Monday because I get so tired, but I mean, that's, like, I don't get any sleep at Evo's. Honestly, I was pushing for Tuesday. We might. We, t we discussed, you know, with, with everybody else going, like, we might push it to Tuesday if we're just, like, let's face it, we're going to be doing a lot. Like, so we got our booth. And I am fat and lazy, so I, I might just be like, nah. I, I, I mean, I'm not going to complain. I've done I'm it before. I'm not going to complain. That gives us extra pool time and extra animal time and aquarium time. And all of the goodness, so... And more time to get rid of that hangover I'm probably going to have by then. And probably hydrate before uh -huh. the trip. I haven't even thought about it, but I need to go contact my friend, uh, the, the pet sitter dude. So he oh, can yeah. Oh, shoot. The cats, yeah. that's right. I'm going to have to contact him, so it's a good call. I'll try to hit him up and see. I mean, he's in the FTC. He hasn't gone to Evo the past couple of years, mm. so we'll see if he actually goes or not, so... Uh, but I'll find out. <laughs> yeah, because we, we, as much as it would make a great movie, having Nathan and Jasmine alone. <laughs> no, honestly, I mean, Necromancy Black in the chat says about the old fighting game backgrounds. I mean, we've obviously talked about them a lot. And again, there's just something about, because, because we know pixel art can't be exact and you know, be as realistic as possible. Mm. That's what makes pixel art so, so genius. It's, it's know, the it's most so... modern iteration of impressionism. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How good can you make it look without it ever looking great? <laughs> I I still remember, like, uh, like, this was, like, maybe, what, 20 years ago, maybe, or something like that? But on the Macs, you could actually change the icon for any folder that you mm -hmm. wanted. You just change it to whatever you wanted. And so I started making my own folder uh, folder icons for everything. And I drew a tiny little $1 bill. And it's, like, the great, like, it just looked amazing. Mm -hmm. I remember I showed my brother. He was like, how did you do that? Like, I literally just did <laughs> it manually. Yeah, I just, you know. Shading. Part of me wishes I kind of did do pixel pixel art at some point. But, you know, it's whatever at this point. But. You know, the crazy thing is, like, a hundred years from now, pixel art and, like, vaporwave shit is going to be on displays in museums yeah. instead of, like, you know, freaking Monet's. And, like, Can you imagine just, like, stuff? here's a Claude Monet. And here is the King of Fighters ninety five. Dude, I mean seriously, like, like seriously, someone could go up and hear like, here's the final explosion from Bionic Commando. Cause you remember how godlike that was when, dude, <laughs> like that picture. I still remember the first time I saw. It, I was like, that's amazing, you know. Dude, I remember losing my damn mind like the first time I saw Guilty Gear because its resolution was just that little yeah, bit yeah, higher. Yeah, yeah. And you get, like, you know, gun flame, and you're like, oh, man, that looks amazing. <laughs> like, not only that, it's just, I was thinking about, I almost tweeted this the other day. I had a few good ones. I can't remember one of them, but the one I do remember in particular was, like, new TikTok trend. Because, like, this whole TikTok generation, you know, in, you know, 40, 50 years, they're going to be old farts. And it's just, like, I could already Dude, picture, geez. I could already picture, <laughs> I could already picture in my head like 
the the old people of TikTok and now doing challenges like hold a JoJo pose while you die. You know, <laughs> it's just like you, you, <laughs> and it's just gonna be all these like old people fucking dead, staying stiff in the coffin JoJo pose. Summon your stand without dislocating a hip. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I can already see it, okay? People people dying and they're just like, I, I'm not going to lay there like this. I'm just going to be like this, you know? <laughs> it's like, could you imagine? And that would be a trend. Like, I'm already thinking about horrible shit like this in the future. Dude, if we ever, get like, if, we, if we ever get, like, another Mount Vesuvius, just... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, instead of people, like huddled together screaming because, you know, the mountain just annihilated the village and there we've, what, found people, like, holding each other close and stuff. It's just going to be, like, their mouths open and them just like this, you yeah. know? <laughs> like, Dude, it's just going to be weird because this, this generation of having everything about their own lives documented so detailedly, you know, everyone always jokes about, you know, how kids are going to react now and being able to see all their parents' TikToks of them being absolutely dorks and stuff like that. Dude, you know? like, honestly, I can already think about it since I talked about death. Now that I think about it, it's like they're going to be recording themselves dying, like their last words. I wouldn't be surprised if people start streaming wills or like oh, them God. saying oh, goodbye yeah, to a family member. Now. I don't no, know. it's not. It's no, I'm like, thinking this more, is a truth. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking more like the kids would be like, you don't get to tell me what to do. I saw you planking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right. It's just like those bad memes of like the cross-dressing guys in maid outfits and shit, and they're like, "Oh, we found a an old um, picture of your grandfather oh, six yeah. years ago." Like, uh, uh, we are on that threshold. Okay, oh, say yeah. what you want. We are on that threshold. Shout out to Corey. All right. Yeah, shout out to Corey. He's gonna be the first one. <laughs> Yeah. We're gonna be like, do you want to see your dad dressed up like a girl in a battleship? Like... <laughs> that is a good point. There are certain content creators who actually really yeah. did right. Uh, yeah. Idiot. Uh, PewDiePie would. Logan Paul definitely. Him and well, his Logan brother. Logan Paul is they're, they're gonna... now. He's a WWE. No, wrestler. no, no. I refuse. <laughs> no. Hee haw. Table flip. Absolutely not. I mean, not it's so crazy now not because like eyes. WWE is like now it's like kind of where like fit celebrities go to just like profit more right i mean that's exactly what ronda rousey went to right so like to well, be honest i that's think that's a whole other fucking topic uh, it, it's it's like that whole wrestling lifestyle also cosplay also like just the convention lifestyle mm -hmm. where you have a celebrity of old golden yeah. days of television mm -hmm. and shit and then after that wraps up what do they do next? They do the convention train for as long as they can. <laughs> See, all you did was just make me think of the Rescue Rangers movie that just came out. Yeah, dude. that's no, that's exactly did you see accurate. That? Did you yes, see no, no, no. Yes, no. Oh, yes. Okay. that is exactly what it is. It is that with wrestlers, and then now people, like you were saying, fit people, whatever you know, B list or C list or celebrities are like, or one hit wonders, I, or one hit wonders, mm -hmm. or famous YouTubers are like. I'm going to get ripped and buff because that's trendy now. And now I'm going to be on WWE. So congrats to you guys. You found a new middle ground before you do the convention circuit. <laughs> the career missing link. <laughs> yes. That is exactly it. Oh, man. Uh, so anyway. Yeah. This show is about SNK stuff. I promise. <laughs> if um, you couldn't tell already. So so I was still in snack I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You skipped straight up to the T, apparently. Yeah. Sip. Um, so we missed last week, but the week before that, we made our super cool mini announcement Yes, that we have gotten to partner up and have like a whole like sponsorship affiliate kind of deal with, uh, the service very near and dear to my heart, Zen Market. Mm -hmm. Um, and so today we get to show some of the, the fruits of our labor. Yes. <laughs> All of our hard work has so, finally paid off. I'm going to give you uh, a bit of a, a bit of a show. <laughs> A and then uh, and then we're going to do our unboxing of all the cool shit we got. Yeah, so, yes. uh, you know, just again, I mean, just as a quick summary, Zen Market, obviously you can use that to buy stuff, but, you know, uh, from Japan and obviously as big uh, SNK fans like you guys are, like, that's the only way you could hunt down for half of that shit that you want to buy, right? 
Yeah, I we're working on, on it. We're, we're, on we're working shirt. on it. Well, we're, but we're all wearing S&P yeah, shirts. Yeah, but you don't have the S&P yeah, yeah. Hawaiian uh-huh. shirt uh-huh. yet. I just have a regular Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. yeah. So. I don't know if you guys have seen, but this is the vintage My Shiranui um, classic artwork. Isn't it? Um, it's a. It's it is it is a Shinkiro, right? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, but then so, it's like redesigned a little bit. Yeah, it's redesigned. You know, this is one of yeah. the Okinawa specials, and he has the other Okinawa special. Mm-hmm. So no, we I gotta like get James one. one. Yeah, like one. this one's best. Yeah, that one's kind of Best so. one. Um, I can't wait for Evo so I can wear my whole fit. Like I cannot. <laughs> that's the whole reason of buying it. Yeah. Like so, I buy I buy outfits for Evo. So um, that's my thing. So real quick, just like full transparency. This is definitely one of those like hashtag ad things. Like. Uh, uh, but we, which reminds me, I'm gonna have to mark it that way in the yeah. YouTube clip. Yes, you um, are. You know, there, there's definitely some level of like the paid promotion endorsement. But again, mm-hmm. like I'm not gonna do this for something I don't like or don't believe of course, in. Yes, of course. I yeah. fucking love these guys. I'm the one who approached them. Yeah. Like I was like, hey, yeah. let's talk, and they're like, yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, we were mentioning them so much on the show the past year we've been doing this show because you know we're like, look at what we got, look at what we got now, look at what we got this time. I and couldn't so, have done it without this place existing. I was like, we freaking love Zen. <laughs> you know, like, we're we're doing we're we're giving you free advertising. Yeah. You need to give us the. <laughs> Um, but, but because of that, they started to pay attention to us and our mm-hmm. posts and, you know, we started tagging back and forth and things like that. And here we are now yeah. about to show you something awesome. Um, and also just one other little tiny bit I wanted to talk about is I've tried other similar services. Okay. So have I. And Zen Market's the only one I've gone back to. Facts. Every other one. <laughs> Many times. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yes. <laughs> I have gone to Zen Market repeatedly. Um, it might be the least healthy thing that I've let myself do, other than like, <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, I absolutely love it, but yeah, every other service I've tried, I just was not as satisfied with the results um, by a long shot. Other, there was one time I was trying to get some like JoJo stuff because back in like from 2012 to 2015. It was so impossible unless you were like really going to Japan mm-hmm. and you had to pay an arm and a leg to a yeah. middleman company just to get him a damn figure or me. I literally ended up spending $60 on an Iggy plush keychain because Jeez. they charged me 30 plus dollars for the keychain, which is like a $7 keychain in yeah. Japan. And then they're like, oh, your shipping's going to be like 40 something dollars. Right, I'm like... Course overseas shipping why yeah. did why did a seven dollar mm-hmm. keychain mm-hmm. cost me 70 with tax all said and done took freaking months to get here you know it's just like mm-hmm. there are so many services out there that just are not doing um anybody justice who's out here in the states but with us with zen market oh my god this stuff gets here super fast a lot of times and uh, because you will be expecting it to come like in a month and it's just like oh two weeks later here it is <laughs> so clearing some of this. yeah we um cool. we definitely use zen market for multiple reasons but you're gonna find out more about that in a few minutes okay. can you put this by your american snack <laughs> Garbology. Your, your garbage snack that lasts 30 years. So let me know when you want me to just ah, go. I mean, here, we, yeah, we still, these. yeah, just, just, oh, I put that just there. get rid of everything. Yeah. <laughs> just get just, it all out of here. Yeah. Just, all right. yeah. As part of the, as part of our uh, collaboration with them, Zen we market. made yep. something to help people uh, learn how to use Zen market. So. Mm-hmm. so I hope you guys enjoy this as much as we did making it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, hey kitty, kitty, why, why so, so down? down? Oh, I just, I just really, really want to buy, buy cool, cool stuff, stuff from, from Japan, Japan. But, I'm but I'm stuck, stuck here, here in the, in the West. West. <gasps> well, do well, I, I have, have news, news for, for you? you. Olaf oh, Redland! Zen market. Zen market. Zen Market? What's that? Zen Market is an amazing service to help nerds like us buy cool stuff from Japan. Like games, figures, books, and more. But how does it work? Well, why don't we just show you? Just go to zenmarket.jp and click sign up. You can create an account from scratch 
or do it via existing accounts like Google. Then just use this pull down here to pick where you want to start shopping, like Yahoo Japan Auctions, Amazon, or other Zen Plus affiliates, and use the search bar to look for stuff. We can try KOF for starters. Wow! Look at all the cool stuff! But how do they make money? Well, you pay a small fee for every item when they purchase it. But how much is that? It's only 300 yen per item. And it covers 45 days of storage while you keep shopping to make it easy to send all your stuff at once. On top of that, there isn't any charge for packaging all your stuff together. And there's even an option to reinforce the box for 1,000 yen to make it even safer to travel. But do I have to have anything weird to have money in my account? Oh, no. They support, they support PayPal, PayPal, debit, debit cards, cards, and even, and even Wise, bank transfers, bank transfers, and more. So no matter where you're ordering from, you can handle it easily. And even better for us English speakers, they have native English-speaking customer service, which I've definitely benefited from. And if you sign up, you get all sorts of bonuses, such as 300 yen free, making your first item free of the service fee. Or even better, 600 yen for using our code SYNCHRONIZE2. That means two items with no service fee. Wow. Well, what if there's stuff I can't find on here? Ah, check this out. Here, you can add the URL for any item you find on any Japanese site, and they can purchase it that way for you. This is great for items you might find on Surugaya, Hardcore Chocolate, Hakaba no Garo, Book Off, you get the idea. If you can find it, they can buy it. Ooh, can I finally buy a life-size Gundam I can get in and pilot around? It was worth a shot. So once you've picked out what you want, you pay for the item and the shipping to the warehouse, plus the 300 yen. They order it, it arrives, and they'll even notify your email when your item comes in. And once you're ready, you just click parcels, select everything you want shipped, enter your details, select shipping method, they'll package it up. I personally use DHL, but you pick what's best for you. Mm -hmm. Just pay for the selected shipping costs, and that's it. And just a few short days later, you get a package like this. Ooh, that was fast. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there you go. So Zen Market. <laughs> I'm I'm super proud of all the cheese. I, yes, yes, and the fact that you guys thought the reverb was on her. <laughs> We're like dying so hard, like you guys are watching this, and and just seeing your guys's reactions in chat. Thank you, you've like made our Ooh. night. We definitely had a moment there. Like I'm heated up by how much I was laughing. Yeah, she actually was overheating. Was like, oh god. Like, oh my god, what have I done? What have I done? Yes, it was definitely in real time because I can teleport. Yes, uh, and we can make the package just show up like that. Yeah, yeah. and he makes that sound effect like yeah. all the time. Oh, it's exactly yeah. so. So anyways, so this is our new package that uh, is part of our little collab deal. So we've got a lot of cool stuff to show, but I also then went ahead and Let's bought more really stuff quick. to put into the big old box well, because I couldn't stop. I want to lie it down just because yeah, of course. block your microphone. Yeah. You do so. want to push the um, mic back a little bitty bit because, yeah. So just real talk. First things first is that right along here, this is all the reinforcement that we oh, talked about. Yes. The reinforcement. Yeah. 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 So... So it makes it look like a video game prank. Yeah, it kind of some does. Crash Bandicoot yeah. looking. Yeah. Uh -huh. But um, heavy machine gun. We actually like the reinforcement when we get things like um the SNK collectors items and stuff like that because they had those big fancy picture frames. Like we didn't want to take any chances with any Dude, of that. The KOF so we, 15 box. We had a crate like this big, big giant square. Yeah, so like yes. it literally looked like something. It looks like something out of like half life. Here, I'll do this side. Okay. Yep. You got it. Okay. 
reinforcement. Yeah, it's really nice. It's and and you know we're gonna just go through the entire unboxing process so you guys can pretty much see how well reinforced they are you know, and how nice they package your you, stuff too. You know what's gonna so happen nice too. I'm gonna order stuff from Zen Market, then I'm gonna keep these reinforcements. No, you are not, you know, unless we like get James. to build a cat castle yeah. with it. Like I can see us doing that. I would, oh my god, that sounds. Can you so imagine awesome. if we do yeah. save all this and build like Nathan and Jasmine a condo? Dude, I'm so down. Like their Sign own little up. Barbie kitty dream house. I'm so kind down. of here for it. Me too. So like down. I'm all about it right now. Let me get this side. I've never actually opened one of these before. This is actually... Oh, you don't even have to go any further. Like, if all oh. the if all the no, reinforcements no, no. peeled down... Not okay. yet. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let me get the sides here. There's there one. And then... Oh, it, oh da, 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 da. And then we're, we're pretty much done with the reinforcement. That's all we need to get. Yes. Oh, now, yeah. just the now we're on primary box. Gotcha, yes. gotcha. Good and reinforced. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to... Well, again, the nice thing about having these on the corners, I mean, how many packages have you gotten and they're like squashed in the corners? Too many. It's like, how about ripped open and there were sprinklers where they threw them by and now my item's wet. Like, that happens? Yes, that has uh, um, happened to me like two times with Amazon. When I got when I got my uh, Atomus Wave, uh, it the box was actually like, dented. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Just trim it along the seam. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. Just hold it down. I got it. Uh, there you go. go. Oops. Almost. Just give it a little saw action. Move your hand away. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, lastly, we've got the middle. You, yeah. got, you gotta go down okay. right. okay. here. Here, you go for it. And we're just about through. Yeah. Also, obviously, right on the top here is where the customs form would go with the dress and everything, but I removed that for filming. Yeah, of course. All righty. All righty. It's go time. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's... Let me push this down so everyone can see. A lot of uh, Japanese newspapers. Yeah, if you want to practice your Japanese, you know, you can read this newspaper. You know what it's selling for? If Zen Marcus sent us a box of newspaper and just was like, and a note, and then it said, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> it has the Nelson Mont. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nathan and Jasmine are about to have a field day. Oh, no. Okay, what are you trying to do? I was seeing if I could okay. get that out of the way more. Dude, there is there's too much good Ooh, stuff in here. We're gonna I've be. Actually, I've been wiggling all week waiting to get this. I'm really excited because I just remembered something I got, so I'm yeah. very very excited. Uh ah okay I know what that is that can actually that can go first because that's easier and we can just build up. Now obviously okay. you know we should probably mention that you know obviously shipping is gonna be expensive because yeah. it's still overseas yes. but. The biggest advantage is that, for example, if you buy something from one of those extra sites, the cost of shipping would have been huge for each of those. Astronomical yeah. but if you per put them, item. But if yes. you put them all together, then you pay that for one package, yeah. basically. Exactly. So. I think for everything I've ever shipped from Zen Market in crates bigger than this, uh -huh. I think this actually might be, like in terms of volume, this might be my smallest package so far. Uh-huh. I've, I've ranged anywhere between 60 total for shipping to about 120 total for shipping, U.S. dollars. Right, right, right. So which is again, ridiculously a, good. Right. Yes. It's a lot of money, but this it's separate, right? right. It's like, it's all oh, yeah. together, and if you buy it separately, then it would have been like 40 per each item. Yeah. Right? So. Especially if you've gone to like some of the other sites we mentioned before. Like, this box probably would have been like almost a thousand. <laughs> Because everything per shipping. But thanks to Zen Market, it is not. So go on ahead and open the first I thing. Oh, God. Yes. We're going to have to hide okay, all so the bubble wrap Okay, so let's go ahead and you. start with this one for you. Oh, so I'm going to go first? Yes, you okay, go first. Okay, cool. So let's go. I'm going to start delicately. I don't open. even know what this is anymore. I, I know exactly remember. what that is. I don't I even. I have it. I'm not even looking it. yet. I feel. Oh. Oh, oh, I forgot about these. Yeah, it's all the acrylic stands we pre-ordered from the SNK online shop before so, it went under. Remember, the SNK online shop, you know, was going out of business and they were getting rid of everything and everything was on sale. So here's my KOF 15, my Shiranui, my Terry, and my Sherm. There you go. Yes. Okay. 
Now this is one that I've been waiting on for a very long time. Go for it. Oh, the yeah, camera do swap the without camera. crashing? Yeah. Enhance. You know what, I'm actually... <laughs> I'm actually going to open this one proper because I don't see the big one of the biggest reasons I bought it. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in here really quick like this. So yes, and then stuff. you can so, watch your watch your little This is this my Shiranui. Shiranui. Uh, Shiranui my. And then my Sherm. Yeah. Okay. And my Tailwee. There we go. So acrylic stands. So, and then you can see on the base. It's the official KOF 15. Yeah, the sticker, flip here. it over. Uh, so that it has the official store sticker right there, yeah. official merch. Okay. Okay, next up. What did you get here? He's so happy I'm about so this. Fucking happy. He's been wanting this for years, okay? Like, so, this is. Real Bout Special for Neo Geo CD. Now, you can find these, but. There's one thing that most of them are missing, and this one is not. So this is the actual game itself, Yes. Right? yes. And this is the one that has that special Blue Mary music video in it. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But if you open it, go ahead and open it up. Open it. And it still has the spine uh, cover. Uh, so when it comes things. to him, especially anything Mary and Real about, he needs the damn spine. No matter yeah. what it is, so. so I keep the spine in all uh -huh. of my stuff. So I've been waiting this whole time to buy this because all of them were incomplete. Yep. Or they were a brand new mint in box and they were like 200 bucks. Right. Mm -hmm. This one was completely reasonable and had the OB. I was like, well, nah, I'm getting it. There we go. And so I'm super happy. Okay, so next here? up, go on ahead and start opening something. So Did I open just, something? Just it keep gonna... it. It's gonna change into Takuma if I open it. No, you know, I'd be it's impressed. already purchased, James. I, <laughs> I would be I so impressed. Evil, I don't know what evil you. Did I just open do. something then? Yeah. All right. Well, where's this thing? All I'm right, so there. more acrylic stands. Yeah, I mean, this is a. This is again. Keep in mind that this packing here is from Zen Market. Yes. Right? This, yes. All this bubble wrap. Yeah. All of these is... things nicely, properly folded, intricately. Yeah, they is, repackage yeah. everything manually and sort them themselves. Double yeah. Yeah. So one is so I have one and one is so she has one. We have to have separate, like little spoiled children. <laughs> um, and then I got an Isla. Oh, you got an Isla. Oh, jelly. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, okay, so what is it that you got? So, okay, this is, them? this is, I'm gonna open this one. I know, you know the ones that you just opened, Kitty? I just wanna show these things. Oh, it's, it's the same stands. Yes. I see, I see, I see. We've got the Isla stand. I still don't remember here. what that is. It's the gotcha set. Oh yeah! Or the, yeah. It's my, it's my right, missing Janae. Yeah. Oh, I see, there's two uncles in this, uh. Yes. Yeah, that's so why I said double nya. Yeah. It almost looks like a one of those graphics where they just put the other one in the back, right? Okay, now, <laughs> so as we were saying on Zen Market, you can, I, we're showing you some new stuff and old stuff, but this little gem from back in the day, I just had to have, go on ahead and show just, them. Just put that in. That is... KOF 97. An ancient Shermie relic. It is the 97 pin. And flip it over so they could see, like, the, the label. Yeah. Sharpen it. Yay. Almost. Oh. Yeah. Got my Sherm. Okay. So, and then, uh, um, because you know us, we are ridiculous lovers oh. so, of figure uh, one of the collecting. So, I opened up was this thing yep. here, was the Neo Geo pin, 
Yeah, because we we were not able to get that one originally, or at right. least I think we only got one and not two or something. Yeah. Yes. The thing about it is it, it like changes color depending on like the the, the, the angle. Or Has something. a little bit of like a holographic yeah. sheen it's to it. A, it's yeah. Uh, like, Swell. Look at it. Look at it and like move it around. You can kind of see it. There's a. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah. So you know me and my love for my pirate girl. Oh. <laughs> These are the gotcha variations. The other two that um. For those of I didn't you who, get. who hate fighting B J N A in the game, here's this is for you. She's been chopped up <laughs> to bits over here. So. Oh god, these are the super cute gotchas from Maximum Impact, and show her face on that one because that's the alternate version where she is wearing her pirate eye patch. Oh dang, okay. Uh, that's sick. So it's it so looks, cool. Yeah, it's yeah like it's actually to the be neon off turning and on. on. Yeah, yeah, like a neon sign Amazing. turning off and on. <laughs> Now, what are these things here? They're like dog tags, right? Ah, yes. Cool. It actually is. Yes, this is a KOF 97 Yamazaki dog you tag. You gotta open that up. It's the Yamazaki. Especially Yama for yeah. Nianto to see. Yeah. Hold on. There you go. I, I actually gave Nianto first dibs on it, and she's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold out. And I was like, all right, I'm buying it then. <laughs> <laughs> she sees that, she's gonna be like, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. And then, oh, here's another. Classic Shermie. Yes. Because, you know, it's like, um, what is it? Not a wallet buckle. It's, um, it's just a, a cute little keychain dangle. So, how to get it? Because Shermie. And not only that, that's like such old school collection yeah, stuff. Yeah, and of course. Yeah. So I now I have now I have one that I can put on a bag and one that I can keep safe at home. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Why don't you open this? Okay. So... This one is a very interesting one. Because uh, you remember we talked before a bit about uh, patchy slots and some yes. of the gambling rules in Japan. Yes. So uh, when you go to, you know, and you hit up like a patchy slot parlor or something, you go and you win prizes. And then maybe you just have to sell the prizes later. Yeah, that way you're not actually uh -huh. gambling for real money. Right. Now the problem is that sometimes they make really, really cool prizes that nobody wants to part with. Or they part with said prizes years later. Yeah, I mean, and they're, then, they're going to try to make some of the decent prizes. Anyway, and then right? so years later, they're like, you know what? I will part with it. And then it winds up in my hands. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? This is one of those prizes from a patchy slot. You got it is a wrong angle. Yeah, it is a two coffee mug set. One of Terry and Whoa. one of Geese. And yeah, turn it to the other side so they can see geese. Oh, I'm straight. Oh, yeah, yeah. I maybe I won't open the whole box immediately, but yeah. So ten years old, no big deal. 2012 collaboration here for a patchy slot machine, dude. Like this, yeah. these kind of prizes <laughs> are sick. Tape. The poo bear right? tape. The poo bear tape is actually kind of sick too. The poo bear tape is is the icing on the cake. But, yeah. yeah, right, Slick Tricks? It's pretty slick. Ah. Ah, uh, okay, so James, I believe, and I'm jealous because you got a bonus with yours. I got a bonus. So this That's is... That's your XXL, right? I think so. Mm -hmm. Did I get XXL? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Now, flip it over. You got, like, washi tape special with that, that promo oh, yeah, for look a at horror it. movie. What is this tape thing? That's, here? like, washi tape. You put that for decorative what's the, stationery. What's the side of it look everything. like? Like, what's it actually look like? I don't know yet. He could, yeah, James he's going to have to open, open it. it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I've definitely been having not enough uh, 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 S&K shirts. So I got myself an S&K shirt over here. Well, it's also because, like, you we don't even... You to catch there's up. not that much that you're super motivated to really want. And then it's like, oh, Kenso stuff. Well, good luck finding it. Right, yeah. But this shirt is um, a really sick collab Whoa. with hardcore chocolate, like we mentioned. Yeah, you might even want to like change it back to the yeah, other. Yeah, you need to change it yeah. back to the other. Yeah, here. This actually is a uh, surprisingly extra large. XXL is pretty big. So. We told you. But I mean, there wasn't anything smaller than that. Yeah, I don't right? think there was a regular XL. Right, but then on the back, they've got this as well. Tell me that is not the sickest image. Yeah, a little Christmas course. celebration collab. 
And I love the fact that it's not just Samurai Spirits on that one. It's the, like the international release right. title. So which shirt is this one then? I, I liked your shirt so much I bought myself one. <laughs> so, and mine didn't come with washi tape. So you remember we talked about like ah. the hardcore chocolate collabs and stuff. This is one thing that was still on the site and is still available. So wait, what exactly is washi tape? Well, I need to make sure it is washi tape. It looks like washi tape. It says, tape. It says uh... Nice oh, it's just tape. oh, so it's a it's a random hardcore chocolate item. Oh, okay, they just threw cool. it in as a bonus. They're like, hey, like, yo, they got two of our. Yo, is it just okay. a is it just a hardcore chocolate washi tape? That's yeah. sick. Yeah, because so what does washi tape do exactly? You just like say you want to put it on stationery or envelope or seal something. You would hey, just put it across. That oh, it's, it's just tape. Yes, it's, it's just, just tape. tape. Okay, yeah, okay, it's just okay, it's okay. a really like softer, gentler tape, and it's nice. usually de decorative. And then they sent you a 2022 promo for a horror movie that came out July 1st. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> okay. This is a chunk. So that'll have to, that's going to wait. Ooh. Ooh. I know. Okay. I know. Okay. So we're going to redistribute this a little bit. These are mine. And those are all yours, I believe. Everything left is yours, I think. Jesus. Okay. It's, well, okay. Correction. I think something in one of these should still be yours, too. Yes. Something over here is also yours. Yeah, you know what? Save that. Save that for last. <laughs> save that for okay, last. Okay, I'm going to save this for last because it's just too awesome, yeah. and you guys already know what I like to gush about. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Hurry up! Work on it. Go, 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 go. Okay, so this is a two-parter because this one, because it's a book and uh, paperwork, they ship them together in one package set, which makes mm. things really easy. Again, the way they just package all of your items with, like, the love and care okay. is too good. So this Ooh. is the SNK Anniversary Fan Book, which is definitely catching glare right now. Um, this is one that I'd really been looking at getting, even in the States, at some of the Japanese bookstores. The price is just a little too high. And so I picked it up on Zen Market because that worked out better for me. Yep. It actually ended up being cheaper to buy the book that market and have it shipped with everything. Yeah, um, because the original cover price is much lower. Right. And, and when it gets brought over to the U.S., it gets marked up a lot. Uh, yeah. Fact, um, lift it up a little more. It's just blank. No, no, I was no. showing the, the, oh, yeah, the, the yeah. cover price. The price, yeah. yeah. Because uh, buying that here at um, any Japanese bookstore is going to be like 70 or yeah. up. So this is actually the same book that you shared pictures from Nona. Mm-hmm. That's how thick it is, so it's uh, thick. thick. It's dummy thick, dude. Uh, there you go. All right, okay. and just keep. You have one more to show. So you have one to show already. I do. Yes. Oh, you okay. Have two I to have show. to be very gentle with this. You want to describe this while I gently take it out? Um. So I don't remember what game or what what exact moment this is from, but this is an absolutely gorgeous poster. Of King. Ooh. So this is like Dang. it's an old. This is this is, this is none of, okay. This is like my era, the art that I studied and started to be inspired by. But hold up, hold up. I got, I got it, I got okay. it, I got it. Yeah, this a, is freaking old. gorgeous. This art style is what I lived for as a kid. Okay, so this who, is who like everything. I don't know. Oh, I'm sure okay. offhand. But this is beautiful. That's really nice. And with all like the retro stuff going on right now, I was like, that is mine. Buy it now. I don't care. <laughs> that is mine. This is mine. Nice. She's my baby now. So, yeah. Oh, actually, James, can you please pass me the scissors? Those will be a little safer to get through this box. Well, the, I I can't wait to frame this. And yes, it's going to be in a purple frame. <laughs> no, yeah, it is definitely that old 80s old school style. Old 80s, anime. like a total city pop. You know what? I, I can tell you one of these secrets about tightening up the rolls on posters like uh -huh. that. I don't know if you actually know the trick, but like... That's just how I've done it to protect it. How do you do it? You just take the roll yeah. and you just keep twisting it like this very slightly ah. and it just gets smaller as you I, do it. I always just twist it yeah, from yeah, the yeah, inside yeah. Uh, because uh, I'm always I'm so paranoid about uh, denting things and stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna admit my first anime posters, um 
They got a lot of wear and tear on those corners. Like yeah, I've learned, like, literally, I've leveled you know, up. something like this. Yeah, I just do this. Ah, uh, and see how it just keeps getting smaller. You just twist it. It worked hard, bit. so you don't have to. And exactly. What I like about doing it this That's way is that you, you won't damage. Like there's no potential damage on that. You just do this, and it just keeps getting smaller. Okay, here we go. I did. I totally did rewind. Yeah, the, the rewind yeah, cassette method. You yeah. got me. Shut here. up. Okay. <laughs> So oh, I, you know both methods, Necromancy Black. So because yeah, this is the one that I always see. Have. I'm afraid when I do your method, I'm gonna accidentally squeeze the middle too hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah, yeah, why yeah. I'm just, uh, 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 with this freaking beauty. Right. I'm just like ee, 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 ever so gently. So you know. So this one, this one makes me very happy, and I can't wait to open, dissect it, and share it later. I'm not okay. doing the whole open right now. Illustration but, scans. No. <laughs> why this was actually a lot of oh. four different sets of marquees, oh, right. manuals, posters, and the uh, command lists. Wow. So and one of them is real about special, so... And I see Mary on there. Front and so center. That's all that matters, basically. So I've got to dig through some of those, but yeah, there's some really cool stuff in there. But it was a lot of, like, four different marquee and uh, instrument sets. Dang. Oh. There you go. Uh, honey... Pins and dog uh, tags scissors, actually. Oh, just put it all in the okay. box, but okay. go on, keep going. Keep going. Now, this I'm just is basically on. a tiny little manga that is a collection of gamest four panel comic strips of KOF. <laughs> like and numerous they are, comics. They're right? hilarious. Yeah, like, just funny little comics. Yeah, there's apparently like fucking like six plus volumes of these, but I saw this one, I snagged it. It wasn't very much, and it's just, it's going to give me some chuckles. Because the artists and gamers have always had a great old time. But yeah, I thought it was adorable. Scooped it up. <laughs> um, and then I only have one more item, I believe. Uh -huh. Kitty, the rest is up to you. Oh yeah, and I, I'm going to share and show everybody this because I am excited. You just can't hold out any longer. I can't. Huh? I, I can't. think I know what it is. Too. You, you, yeah. you should. You should. Yeah. And yeah, sure. Show the rear one first because no, that's the Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is there more than one thing in there? Or yes. more than two? No, it's just the two. Okay. okay. You guys know me. You guys know what I love. You guys know who I love. It's food? Oh, angel! There you go. So what is is this? That, that this is the laser disc of Fatal Fury, Fury the movie. movie. Ow! Look at it. It's so beautiful. And yeah, those were the arcade machine ones. You see it. But yeah, it's so beautiful. Fatal Fury, the motion picture on laser disc. <sighs> Which, relating directly to that. Yeah, before you get to that. I'm just getting it ready. Okay. And so, funny enough, relating to that, remember uh -huh. I've talked about the setting documents? Like, the cool, like, yeah, concept yeah, yeah. art and stuff? Uh -huh. This is the setting documents for the motion picture. Jesus. <laughs> it's not even, like, in a book. It's No, no they're just, just the straight like, documents. Yeah, whenever you bought it, you just get basically a stack of them, and then it's your job it's, to put them into a binder. It's a book, yeah. I mean, how many did they print of these? There's a ton. There's, like, almost every single character. No, I mean, like, how many sets are there? Yeah. Not uh, sure. Probably a couple hundred, maybe, but knows? it also depends on how many are still in reasonable that's shape. crazy. Yes. So, as that you guys... That good quality, too. Yeah, that's in great shape. As you guys know, I'm a huge Obari fan. Like, his <laughs> art... Really it, it, just a tad. Just a tad. Just a tad. But just a tad. if you guys, you know, you guys know I love Obari, and I love what he did for Fatal Fury... So I had to have this to complete part of my Fatal Fury collection, but also... It's bathrobe Mai on the back. Is there a bathrobe Mai? Oh, yes. that is... What I love... That scene with her hair down. So cute. Mwah. Mwah. Like, oh, I see you. Yeah. Look at the back side. Yeah. There. Oh, okay. Just go ahead and lay it down there. Okay. So... Don't you... Don't, don't open it. Don't open it. But no, but... I was yeah, just going to slide it Okay, out. okay. I know. Okay. Good. It's but, my... Gift. Okay, here we go. These are Obari's um, animation sketches from the movie. Well, OAV. OAV. That was from the OAV. This this one is the the OAV Legend of Hungry Wolf. Yeah, I'm gonna switch cameras so that they okay, can, go for uh, it. Better. 
Very gentle. Yes, of course. Like, are these actually drawn by him officially? Those are the pre-sell drawings. Yep. From, like, the production studio. Like, yep. So yeah. he might have actually just drew this directly. It is almost definitely the case. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. I kind of want to know if, if, if Obari actually did draw these or not, but they are in my collection now. I am going to definitely, you know, cherish. just cherish these for as long as I possibly you want the can. Scissors again? Um, I'm just trying really hard to kill this. Yeah, that tape is it's, killing the plastic. Which is good because that means how well sealed this was. Yes. Dude, when I was in Japan, I noticed that they were selling these kind of things. Watch out! Ooh, watch I, out got it, I got it! I got it! I got it! The, the cardboard is a not. Yeah, no, the, the card has a seam. I honestly would don't mind. <laughs> yeah, I need some poo tape. <laughs> yeah, have me the poo tape. Yeah, hey, I can give you some uh, hardcore chocolate tape. Yeah, here. we can have the washi tape. Yeah. Okay, so I am just going to um completely take these the exacto? out of the out of the bag. No, no, I got it. Hold on. You sure? Yes. This tape is just sturdy. Strong. Yeah. Yeah, this, that, this one, this is like getting framed later. Yeah, they well, they're all getting framed later, but okay. Uh, some now, of them sooner than later. Yes, if, if for you know how what size they are. Do you have all the frame data of all this? Frame data? Oh my god, James! He was waiting to say that. You no, can tell. I just, you no, 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 that just popped in my head that. right there, right there on the spot. So there you go. Beautiful. Yay. I'm very happy. Is there more than one frame in there? Um, there's a couple pages, but yeah, I'm just I'm not pages. gonna even try yeah. to right, open yeah, it not right, right now. now. Not right but now. But just so yeah. you guys could see it, you know, when when I put my white gloves on and yeah. do this properly. Um, because yeah, there's there's one of the, like it was supposed to come with the second page and some of the other images and then like the mouth flaps right. for when yeah. he's talking. And and you can see actually like the step by step oh, yeah, animation yeah, yeah. Okay, for that. Okay. So there you go. It's crazy. Oh, that's actually a good call. My tail wing. Using washi tape for framing because it's acid free. Ah, that's actually basically, really good. It, it basically is less likely to damage whatever is right. in there. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, got well, it. now admittedly, Kitty now had to had to get too excited and showed off the coolest thing. So I've only got one more item. It's not nearly as cool. Oh, it doesn't matter. These yeah, are all cool items. <laughs> so you remember a couple weeks ago, we got to read the... Um, the part part of the translated version of Adelheid's story from yes, 2003. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this is what it came from, the Arcadia MOOC oh, of 2003. Right, okay, okay. So okay this... In case you don't know what a MOOC is, it's basically called a MOOC because it's like a magazine book, basically, right? I mean, I think that's where the term comes yeah. from. Right? Yeah, and, and they are just huge, deep dives into whatever their singular topic yeah. is. Yeah, I mean, I have a bunch of, like, I have a couple of gamist mooks mm -hmm. that, you know, detailed, but, like, I think I have the X-Men versus Street Fighter gamist mook, for example. Yeah, like, I think 98 actually has two different simultaneous release gamist mooks. That's, that's, like it's that's fucking Adelheid and Rose right here, yep. right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so Adelheid's whole story that was translated online that we all got to read is in this one, so... So, yeah, a lot of cool stuff that we got from uh, Zen Market here. And, and I'm going to honestly tell you guys, there's a ton more on Zen Market up for grabs right now. Like, yeah, like we... getting, getting this partnership was a mistake because I don't want to compete with you guys. Yeah, but we also, <laughs> we also love to share the wealth. So, yeah. you know, we're here for our community. But, so we want to let you guys know where you can get cool stuff right. like all of this, too. And obviously, you know, I mean, the people watching here are all SK fans, but they're also going to be oh, huge yeah. fans of all sorts of stuff. All right? sorts of so, stuff. Any like, fan of you have. Ha I'm probably going to have to go run in there, see if I can find as much Darkstalkers kind of stuff. That and I you know what? But we yeah. find a lot of like the rare little gotchas and yeah. everything and stuff uh, for dark stalkers uh, 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 and whatever, animation things whatever anime you can think of like all the different gaming stuff yeah. even just like random other like non-nerd stuff you can just find whatever yeah. and I mean, it, it was interesting because i you know i did that stream recently where i just did all the dark oh, stuff switch the camera back probably yeah. where i did all the dark stalker stuff i couldn't i i like kind of rekindled my oh, passion yeah. for it so um but then also, so we actually do have officially our partner link. So you, if you want to check out SNK stuff and get yourself started, mm. you can follow that link, which will be being posted in the chat momentarily. 
You sent it to me in an email. The same email, yeah. Uh huh. So that link. Yeah. Um, if you if you guys want to start doing some really cool shopping, now you can. Now is the time to sign up. And you get our awesome synchronized discount yeah. for doing so. So you get you get bonus of not paying the service fee for your first few items, which is going to be two for our code. Yep. Um, but also on this page, it's a, a few shortcuts to start looking for some SMK stuff. Because, like, if you want to find Fatal Fury stuff, you can't just type in Fatal Fury. Because no. you're, you're browsing in Japanese. You have to put in the kanji for Garo Densets. So we saved you a little bit of trouble there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm probably going to keep working with Zen to try to bolster this a little more to make it a little easier to search for a few things. But as it is right now, like there's still plenty to get to started if you're looking for cool SNK stuff. And then you just go start looking at <laughs> everything and just go nuts. Browse everything um, else. Yes. yes. Um, um, also, if you're looking for certain things and you don't know how to search for it, Look it up on Google. Most wikis now, if it's a Japanese item or a Japanese character, it's translated decently. They'll have like the actual characters yep. for the kana for whatever the character's name is. You can start searching that way. You can look also for K O F or Zakingu Afaitas. <laughs> you kind of have to search both. Okay. Yes. Okay. And um, you you guys are gonna find some awesome goodies. I mean, there's there's stuff that unfortunately can't be shipped to the states because it's too heavy, and we want it. But yeah, the, you're you're just gonna you're gonna find so much gold on there, and so many unicorn items that are gonna be like rare and special for you guys. So go sign up, get your two free item bonus. Thanks to Synchronize and wanna, have some shopping fun. Do you want to do this right now just to make it easier? Uh, for them? Yeah, that would yeah, be Yeah, let's do that. What, what do you want to call it? Uh, uh, Zen Synchronize? Synchronize Zen or. Yeah, let's try to synchronize Zen. Synchronize That'll be good. Zen like this. Uh, right? do, do the synchronize in all caps for this one because that way it, it mirrors what our code is. Okay. Do I need to put a two here at the end, or just nah, synchronize Zen? Nah. Uh, yeah, just just make it easy. You just do synchronize Zen, and then actually, I'll do Zen synchronize because it's then it looks better yeah like that yeah is that, uh, yeah is that okay? Yeah, I mean, I think so. <laughs> synchronize. It's pretty far away <laughs> from me, so I think so. That sounds like a bad donut. Oh, uh, cool. Chrome. That, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. That should that should be good. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Think that should work now. Actually, I like so. synchronizing. <laughs> Sounds like a a hot dog you would get. Booyah! So Well, it is made. Too now, late, I'm sorry. You can use this now. So to make it easier for you guys, so you don't have to remember that. So you could just rem anytime you are around, you're like, wait, I want to use the synchronize link. You could just do tinyurl.com slash zen synchronize. And boom, that'll take you right to the page directly. Capital Z, capital synchronize. Yeah. I mean, I think if you put it uncapital, it'll still work. I, I don't know for sure. So I'm just going to say it out loud. There you go. Yeah, okay. It still works. Cool. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Actually, that's a good call. Probably have a Zen command in the chat as well for future Ooh, reference. Wee. Okay. 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 Yeah, we're gonna need that. So yeah. Yeah, because I wanted to do that and what a command for spec fiction is. Yeah. Right. Yes. So I'll make those uh, when I get a chance then. But there you go. So. Uh, I yeah. guess tiny URL is not case sensitive. Okay. That's that's news to me, yeah. which is nice. Yeah, no, URLs are definitely case sensitive in many t places if they're poorly made, you know, like, I know that there's way, I've had problems with that before, but that's yeah. a different story. Anyways, I'm not going to So, gonna thank you very, very much <laughs> thank for Zen Market. Thank you, Zen Market. Thank you so much, We Zen love you Market. so much. We really do. And James will too once he starts buying more shirts. Or he's going to start I mean, Or he's going to hate me because now he's right. spending money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, honestly, honestly, I wouldn't mind spending money if I had the money. Yeah, there's, the stuff. there's, yeah. and here's where I'd spend my money yeah. if I had any. Yeah, right. uh -huh. But <laughs> basically, thank you so much, Zen Market, for working with us and doing this and sponsoring us, and we're just going to keep sharing the wealth. And I hope to see you guys post up, you know, at us, at Synchronize, with the cool stuff that you guys get from Zen Market in the future. 
make sure to tag them when you do. And uh, if you guys want to just give me all of these. You I'll... can have all the cardboard. <laughs> because we are going to build the cats gonna, I, I need a to condo. I figure out how to build a cat for Some, Somehow. Yes. Yeah, I haven't created it yet to Hollow. Sorry. I'll get that in there soon. Yeah, we'll probably later. do it after the show. Because yeah. um, we, well, we, 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 we don't, have, don't a... have a lot of it. Yeah, well, we I need mean, more uh, of it. I mean, we can talk a little bit about that. Because uh, you talked to me. Jar in the chat came in and said, so Cronin is finally top tier. Hmm. Like... Are we hoping for a Cronin nerf in the CYS patch, in the Orochi CYS patch? But is it really needed, though? Okay, so honestly, <laughs> I'm going to say yes for one reason. Because it's hev it's more than heavily implied that Awakened CYS comes out after Evo. Yeah. And there shouldn't be any major fighting game events for another month or two. So that is actually a good time to do at least a balanced touch. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And without basically interfering too much with anything else. Because yep. what was the tournament that you were telling me about where like it was literally like seven out of the top eight teams had Cronin and on anchor? Uh the last thing the Zhao Hai won. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. It was an Asian tournament, yeah. basically, with like E. T. and everybody, and every single one of them had Cronin as Ex the anchor. Except for one. Except for that guy who yeah. plays the wacky team. Yeah, right? Which was Kukri, Dolores and Yuri. And Yuri. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh man. So yeah. Um, but as far as everything else, I think we really only have one other piece of news to debate at all. Um, I think we have two, and not only that, we can talk about um our Evo booth and what we're planning. Well, to yeah, do that's Evo, just I mean so. celebrating stuff like some of the. Well, we <sighs> gotta let people know what they're gonna be able to do and where they're gonna be able to see us and stuff. So, anyways, what do you want to do first? Uh, so, in, uh, there, there's a guy on Twitter right now <laughs> who has been doing a great job of really trying to be, like, um, an internet archivist of, like, cool, like, video games, especially a lot of SNK games, okay. and, uh, has managed to get his, his, their hands on a bunch of the prototype data for Mark of the Wolves 2. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right, yes. And uh, he's been, like, archiving a bit of it over the past few months, but has been posting a lot more, and it looks as though he might have gotten his hands on a bunch of new data. Yeah. And so, probably gonna want to watch that account if you're not already. Yeah. And uh, keep a real eye on it over the next week or two to see what we almost got at one point and see what some of the developments were going to be. Yeah. Uh, it's up on streaming over here. Yeah, so what is it? It's like 2021 duck? Yeah, so uh, 2021 K duck. Yeah. K duck. So, so they've actually been doing a lot of really interesting deep dives and backups of a bunch of old data. Like they've been showing, they were the ones who actually showed uh, Joe's apprentices full palette set mm -hmm. and stuff like that. They just managed to get their hands on like old prototypes and the incomplete files. And yeah, so this is actually like the disc sets that have a bunch of Mark of the Wolves ones data, as well as some of the Mark of the Wolves two prototype data. Yeah, see right there. The game that never came out. That for the longest of time we had that sheet of some of the characters, like you mentioned, like yeah, Joe's because yeah, because apparently like it it was more than half done, and then they just scrapped it, right? Oh yeah, yeah two thousand one the files, yes, yeah. two thousand one, dude, jeez. Last update June twenty seventh. <laughs> so oh. yeah, if you're a Mark of the Wolves fan, you should probably keep an eye on this account and see what else they end up putting out and what else they find and share. Uh, don't say that, Necromancy Black. Please don't say that. I don't want to tell you how where I was in school during 2001. Were you even in school anymore? I wasn't. That's yeah. my point. I had long graduated. No, not long graduated. You I were in diapers, graduated. right? Right. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Yes. But yeah, it's cool. So I guess maybe we'll find more information about um, yeah. Mark of the Wolves 2 at some point in time. So, you know, maybe there'll be a couple of like cutscene images or something, see where Rock and Kane wound mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. um, you know, got that like new boss implied, you know. And, you know, maybe we could get a little more hints on story, where it's going. Right. Maybe well, something, I doubt something ended or wrapped up that quickly because, you know, this is K, uh, well, not King of King of Fighters. This is SNK lore, and it tends to last 
as long as our lives. So <laughs> Yeah, and also bear in mind, that wasn't even a blank CD. That was no. a DVD RW. Oh, was it? Oh, so there was yeah. a lot of data yeah, on yeah. there. Yeah. All but, right. Um, yeah, because the... Mm, yeah, so apparently it was. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it would be cool if they would, like, maybe, like, hey, maybe we should finish the game now. But, I mean, at this point in time, we had talked about how much the verse storyline seems to be merging everything together. So, might as well just kind of... I mean, it would be cool if they eventually, like, like let's say KOF 15 does what we hope it does, does what we hope a lot of fighting games do, which is last, like, four years, five years. I mean, what if they just put Joe's Apprentice into the yeah, game at just, some point? I mean, that, exactly. remember last year, that was what I was asking for. Right. Yeah. It was just the, uh -huh. the next generation Wolves team. Yeah, uh-huh. Have Rock, Hokutomaru, and Joe's Apprentice. Right, yep. exactly. Which so. I can never remember her name, because... I've never Did played her in a game. game? Yeah, they, oh, she apparently right. actually had a final yeah. game. Um, uh, okay. I can't even. I can't even remember it right now. So I figure yeah. if I got like a multiple choice, I could like call it out. <laughs> Is that your final answer? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so keep an eye on that. Um, I'm. I mean, I'm going to because right. I. I mean, even if I'm not the biggest fan of the game, Mark of the Wolves, I. I will always love it's, Fatal Fury's. Yeah. I was yes. say, so Fatal, Fatal Fury, Fury canon no means what, a lot to so, me. Yeah. Fatal Fury lore is Fatal Fury. Oh, I see. This is true. Okay. But, uh... I thought you were hanging it on the box. No, somehow. no, no. I was like, what was, the it's a corner. Okay. Yeah. It's a corner. So, on the other hand, though, Evo is coming up. Evo is coming up. That means we're going to have a booth, a synchronized booth, <laughs> where you can hang out with us. We're going to have merch for sale. I'm going to have cosplay merch for sale. And I've kind of gone ham making merch this year. So and we've got a, little, really a couple cool. trinkets, little couple items, trinkets. some prototype items that we're going to be showing off. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, um, gonna, I'm going to have an item that I'm only making the one of, but if I get enough people screaming at me, then I might make more of them. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, we've, we've got some special previews for items that are going to come out in the future if they are received as well as we're hoping for, and you will see them at our synchronized booth in Artist Alley. On top of that, I'm going to have, like I said, instead of just selling cosplay prints, because I really just, honestly, I know you guys like my pictures. I feel like I want to do more than just sell pictures. So I'm going to have magnets, acrylic stands, acrylic keychains, bunch of stickers, and buttons. So you're going to want to come and check out and see what we got. And yes, I, it's, it's mostly almost all everything I'm selling is nothing but like SNK cosplays. So uh, we're going to have a lot of goodies. And then. Ooh, no. What do you mean? No, it's already been opened. <laughs> the box is all beat up. No, I said poo. No. Oh, I, I didn't cut poo. Oh, you didn't cut poo. Okay. Don't okay. say you cut poo. <laughs> so yeah, the box lid was originally sliced yeah, off. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, I mean, I also honestly cannot promise that I will be at the booth very much at all. Because you're going to be on commentary. Yeah, I'm going to be running around doing all sorts of... That's a nice mug. And it's so cute and tiny. Yeah, it's it is. just it's so nice. little. With I mean, are you actually going to use them or just display them? Uh, they're just displays. I'm never going to. Yeah. Come on. Well, I may use this geese. I mean, I think you should pour a bunch of soy sauce in there. I respect this. Just drink the soy sauce. I would. I'd be like... Oh, and then and then have the geese falling off the building coaster. Yes, I'd be salty AF. Come on. And I'll put it on my uh, geese I'll coaster hopefully... next to my geese soy sauce have they container. Even announced, uh, or have they even told anyone who is going to be commentating I what any yet? No, I don't think, yet, I didn't think so. so. I'm, yeah, I'm, I haven't I'm, seen I, any I announcements. I applied for KOF. I applied for it, so yeah, let's put it that yeah. way. So well, I hope you get it. it. I hope I get something like pools or something, you know, yeah. like I'm totally down with that. So, I mean, like I said, I also hope they give me some Guilty Gear too, because well. again, I've been putting in so much work into the Guilty Gear comedy. And I mean, they've got to give you like the overall host of the of the finals again, where like I you're hope. up in the you're up in the balcony just talking about everything. I mean, like if I do a top, I mean, because like I said, the, Rick announced that they're doing it in order of uh, entrance, mm -hmm. right? And so most likely, if I do get to do Evo, I would probably end up doing Street Fighter, right? But Street Fighter might not be the last of event of yeah. the day. Yeah. So I'm I'm guessing something like Strive will probably be the last one. So, you know, 
I, I KOF for top three. Yeah. I feel like I feel like I do close out Evo better than anybody else yeah, does. But, I mean, how? Because there's been those times at Evo where it's been like three different commentary sets, and there's like the one that's like the host up in the balcony who's like not. Yeah. Like directly doing not everything on the else. top eight, not for not top, top eight, eight. not really? top oh. eight. No, no, oh, okay. top eight has always just been just the the teams and stuff. Yeah, like for whatever, stuff. wherever that's being broadcast, yeah, kind yeah. of thing. But um, not only that, we may have another special thing. I wouldn't mind like looking out of that. Yeah, we may have another special thing displayed. Um, that's still a work in progress at our booth, and we are going to be um hopefully having a giveaway as well so but we have we have a lot of things that are in the works that are not yet finalized so we're working on we're working on trying to get a giveaway situated for evo and then that winner will be announced during our synchronized invitational stream so you guys can tune into that saturday night at eight o'clock pacific pacific time on august 6th which is evo saturday night and once everyone's done with all their pools, and then we can just you know <laughs> play a little KOF and have a few drinks. Yeah, and <laughs> and who knows who will stop by? So you never know. So you better tune in. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, but I, that's. I, I mean, that's, who knows if even I'm going? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> have I invited? They, did you did you get your invitation letter yet? Fuck. <laughs> I need to grab that KOF invitation letter and be like, here, Olaf, it's your, you're invited now. Then you really would be like the sports team because you, you lost yeah. your invitation and I got Basically, it. Basically, yeah. <laughs> just I, mean, I, just, I was just talking Every to, to, to uh, some friends earlier today and I was just saying like Oda's actually said he's not sure if everyone's trolling with the... With the U.S. team, yeah. where they're actually serious <laughs> about them. Right? Yeah, I think they actually then did a follow-up survey in the Discord. Of like, are are you guys actually serious? And I'm like, uh, yes, yes. It's like, <laughs> you only let them have two games. Yeah. It's it's not a Morbius prank. We swear, we want the like, team back. Okay? It's not like Iori killed them. Yeah, like they're all in the background all the time and everything. And dude, like no, and I mean like there are there are there, multiple still people there. that like like I mean just uh Eli. His, like, favorite character is Heavy D. Right. Like, yeah. literally is. I mean, again, Like, it's not, like, a joke. Like, like I said, story-wise, I've got you guys. I have the, 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 the fanfic uh, re- reboot of their team. <laughs> and then also, I mean, honestly, you could make them uh, really interesting characters. Yeah. You could change them up a little bit. Dude, honestly, I am, terif- I am genuinely terrified. I am genuinely terrified of Brian and Heavy D having EX moves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. As like I said, Lucky Glauber could actually be really sick with a bunch of like, like more very knowledge like basketball style moves, right? Because like I said, someone actually said like to have made Sean that way, right, mm. in a future game when he's older or something like that would be pretty sick. And I think Lucky Glauber could do the same thing, like actually, like obviously, because the thing about it is like. The way that he is in ninety seven and ninety eight, like he's not really basketball y, right? Like he's just got like weird like art a mixed bag. It yeah. is. I uh, mean, basically I feel I like they the basketball took the <laughs> I mean I I feel like him with his love of basketball is pretty like dead even to Sean in Third Strike. Yeah. Because yeah. it's just like you know they like it. You'll be on like, but, but 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 S and K, if they did bring them back, they should try to. I'm not saying have a bonus game like Third Strike that oh, has to be yeah, with basketball. Sean Perry's right, but yeah. I mean, it would be so cool if they ever implemented if that character does come back and they implemented some sort of like side mini game or a <laughs> bonus game where you're like trying to shoot threes. Dude, he gets a he gets a boss rush mode, but you just I have know. to actually Dude, play basketball. You know what, but you it'd know be literally like that that game in China where it's the slam dunking one with Shermy slam Dude, dunking. That's it would literally say, be that. If yeah. they put Lucky Glover in the game, he needs to talk shit to Shermy. And just be like, what the hell? When did you learn how to slam dunk? Yeah, it's like... <laughs> Girl, you don't ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my man. God. It's it's too good, too good. Damn, she's thick, though. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, also... Basketball I mean, booty. Before we go as well, I also want to mention, uh, we were going to pull a winner of the KOF 98 UMFE Picks and Love 
but I tweeted about it kind of late, so we wanted to give more time for people give, to enter. Give everyone at least a yeah. solid week. Yeah, yes. so uh, if you, I'll retweet it very soon. I'll quote retweet it very soon. Yes. Uh, so follow me on Twitter, but to enter, follow me, follow Picks and Love, and then retweet and like the tweet as well. And then next week on Synchronize, we'll do an official poll to see who is going to win a KOF uh, 98 UMFE collector edition, not the deluxe edition, the collector edition. Show them which, the chocolate show which one. Like show them which yeah. one they're going to win, James. And, and no, you did not. There was no show last week. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, due to... Um, Scheduling conflicts. Due to giant... Large mass scheduling conflicts. We were not able to. I did not know where you were going with that. The giant, large mass. <laughs> Due to AX. <laughs> yeah. There was a very big scheduling conflict. There it is. So, yeah. And basically, the things that we had to do, the people we had to see, we wanted to see them before they went into AX. Yep. Safety first. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. This one. The sweet shock box. Yeah, so the, the, the reversible cover. Oh, it is that's the PlayStation so cool. 4. Uh, it is the PlayStation 4. So just as an FYI. But yeah, this is it right here. You can order this yourself right now because the deluxe edition also comes with the... This is the deluxe edition. I'll show you what it comes with in just a saying a little bit. <sighs> okay, Seru. I, I, I'm, I'm down with that. Well, I'm, I mean, that's not bad, but I'm also just sighing because I want this version. and I Yeah, I know. But I can't. I, I can't. So it's okay. On pre-order right now. And so this is the collector's edition. This is the one that you will win. Uh, this is the one that we are doing the drawing for. for so everybody. you get the uh, illustration art book. You get a soundtrack and the mini poster slash lithograph yeah. print. Also, shout outs to the uh, the CD soundtrack actually coming with the original soundtrack for the cover. Yeah, that's oh, pretty hot. Yeah. That's uh, actually yeah, pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, deluxe. There's only 200 copies of this. Uh -huh. only, it comes with everything in the collector's edition, but also... This Hiroaki artwork that is in an aluminum plate that is 27 by 19 inches. Need Aluminum plate of this then, Hiroaki art with also, Mary on And then it. also, the, thanks. Yeah. Right, twist uh, the knife a little. <laughs> sorry. But also, the, uh, the shock box cover is slightly different. Mm, it's mm. a tiny bit different. Because um, it's just basically how big the picture is blown up across the whole cover and where there right. has like the old OG borders and stuff. That yeah. is such a damn good collector yeah. item, along with just an entire collector set like that. Like it's just too good. Two hundred copies, too limited. Too freaking so. good, man! I yeah, love I mean, it, and it has heavy D on it too. Yeah, again, the uh, uh, look, and Shingo trying to figure out fire. This thing is obviously very, very nice quality because this is the only edition, but the price goes up quite significantly. So, how much is that one again? Do we know offhand? Two hundred ish. I thought it was 250 -ish? like two fifty ish. I, I think thought it, I think it was two fifty ish. Fix and love. Holy on. Here we go. So the deluxe edition is this is euros, obviously two forty nine mm. euros. But yeah, you can see the collector edition is basically eighty euros. And then the UMFV one is 250 euros, so a significant... The big boy. Significant yeah. increase. Yeah, so it's actually, I, I think that's it's actually like closer to like 280 USD. Yeah, it's... Yeah. It's, yeah. So what is it? Two five comma zero zero euro in... Oh, I, I just I just do like euro to USD, and then it just brings up a calculator on the screen. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Well, oh, it's about one to one. We're actually, oh. we're actually that's... Oh, so, you know what? Right now, our U.S. dollar is like skyrocketing. Like, and even Japan is yeah, even the, cheaper now yeah, than like the last time about, we checked. Yeah, yeah so uh, we, we've been talking like this, the dollar is super strong against yen. I didn't know that was actually the case for euros. Well. It is. So um, we're actually almost even for once. Yeah, 
That's okay. freaking so, nutty. Yeah. So basically $80 for the collector's edition and $250 for that. But again, that's an extra $170 for that lithograph. But that just means, yeah, like Lurker Spine says, middle prints aren't cheap. They are no. not cheap. Yeah, and it's just, it's it's a high quality print for sure, so... And with like shipping and everything for that too, yeah. you know. But it's worth it. It's a big ass beautiful print. Like they knew what they were doing yeah, when they made that artwork. Over two feet tall. It's gorgeous. She's over two feet tall. Yeah. Oh Thanks, yeah, twenty seven, twenty seven. So. Uh, Speaking nope. of things that are almost over two feet tall, can you go into the ah, link good call. that oh, I sent you? Okay, okay. Good call. Did you get that thing I sent you? I'm not sure. Let me take a look. Tell her I said what's up. <laughs> All the way down. Uh, the the first one. Yeah. This, it's just my tweet. Go to the first one. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So, last week, since we didn't do the show, but we were going to, we're going to talk about this hot little item. Iroha. Yeah. Iroha has one of the best damn statues I have seen in a while. Hot damn. Where do we even start? I mean, it's a really, really nice looking background. First of all, the fact that, okay, yes, it's a beautiful background, all right? He's not wrong. But, 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 the fact that they made but, the but, 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 but. the fact the doors in the back, those Japanese screen doors you see opened, they also close. Yeah, they actually go to the next. Yeah. There you go. Oh, dang, that's kind of sick. Yay. That's kind of sick. It's really pretty. And then when they open, you get to see the mountain and the clouds in the back. Right. Like, mwah. I love when statue companies do this. They add not only extra detail, but those fine little touches. So it makes it worth the. <laughs> pretty pretty sturdy amount you're gonna pay this for this is, figure. Which uh, this is a different company than all the other. This ones, is right? this Most is S and K Cross Peladin. Okay. Yeah. Cause so, I, mean, I, I gotta say all these like samurai showdown statues that we've been seeing, like the Haomaru and the mm -hmm. and the Nako and stuff like that, it's really the backgrounds that are like they're, making they're, them stand yes, out because so well. A lot of these companies they make you know I, and it's always been my complaint where the figure itself the the main icon they put them in the middle and they're about this big and then there's this huge massive mountain and fiery display and it's just like i want to pay for yeah. more of the character i love but this right here is like such a good balance of a nice size you know figure plus a complimentary background that is not too overwhelming and i really do like that and pays pays a lot of homage to like what she does in her moves too. Exactly, like having a little like grass on the bottom and everything. Mm -hmm. and, and having the grass that you yeah. see cranes typically in in that kind of setting with the whole uh, crane Japanese folk fairy tale lore that is her character and that whole backstory. Again, don't forget that her super move is her behind those the sliding yes, panel. Yeah, behind the Japanese screens. Um, so this this all ties together so well. Like and we have what three or four Iroha figures between the both of us? Thereabouts. Yeah, somewhere about there, including like a couple little gotcha. Yeah. Um, I want this. Because it's just so well done. If you if you look at all those. And then if you're interested in purchasing this, go on ahead and click that link because Thanks to our friends over at Spec Fiction, they actually do um, sell both Paladin and the uh, SNK Fun um, statue lines. So we'll have to make a tiny URL for this one too. I think. I mean, just, I mean if you, yeah. Just if you our, just click. I mean, we'll just need it for our link to for them. Yeah. Or is that that one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. But yeah, if you just go up in there and browse around and do cool stuff but mm -hmm. yeah the iroha is up for pre-order now and i'm like yeah oh, click man. on it so we can see the iroha in there just go like the top right, far top yeah. right corner is the magnifying glass oh just do the stuff. yeah just yeah. do the, just the it should be quick yeah just do the snk or kof i just search uh, kof or snk actually I mean, this time look for iroha you should you should yeah you could do any of those there you go yeah, there, there you is. is boop 
No, pre-order. And now it, you can see all the different pictures on there because there's a bunch more different angles. I just picked the angles that I wanted to show off on Twitter. But now you guys can actually see way more, like, the detail, the size. It is a four-scale statue. Yeah. I mean, I hate to say it. We, we already have so many figures on pre-order. And I'm still them. waiting for one more to become available to pre-order. <laughs> exactly, on top of that. and we're still waiting for another to be on pre-order. So we've. I don't know if I can let myself justify that one, but fuck God, it. I know we want it so bad because it's just such a good statue. It really is. And she's actually one of the characters I play in the game, so I don't feel bad about it. It's not just like waifu thirst. Yeah, I play her. it's. I mean, I don't play her, but. I appreciate this. So there you go. I, I definitely do appreciate this. <sighs> Anyways, that's basically everything I wanted to catch up on and talk about until we could talk about more things. Do you want to play the promo one more time? I'm down. I, this time with no reverb? Yeah. <laughs> and right. then next time with extra reverb. <laughs> oh my god. And and then we'll make it grainy, like a VHS tape oh, next geez. time. Uh, Will said the link was jank. Oh, but it's, oh, not yeah, right. it's not working? It's not working. Oh, no. I mean, it worked for me when I did this. Oh, is no, it yeah. because there's a space at the end of it, probably? I think it got pasted with a space at the end of it. Ah, that's probably why. Okay, okay that, there you go. Oh. Let's try this. Try yeah. this one now. That one should be better. And you guys can see all the pictures of her. Okay, I've actually what? I've actually had it be jank on me once, so all I don't right. know. All right, well, let me just do this then. I'm just going to post the link address like this. That should work. So There we go. Yeah. There, there we go. go. So that'll work there. I, nice. I just wanted to put our official link in there. But. Yeah, same. Okay. But, all right. Do you want me to just play the promo one yeah. more time? Yeah. And then we'll, Why not? And then we'll close out something okay, funny. Okay, sounds good. All right. So in case you guys came in late, we did a promo for the Zen Market stuff before we unpacked all the stuff. Check out our promo. Here you go. One more time. Deliciously cheesy. <laughs> Brace yourselves. Hey, kitty. Why so down? Oh, I just really want to buy cool stuff from Japan. But I'm stuck here in the West. <gasps> <gasps> well, do I have news for you. Olaf Redland! Zen Market. Zen Market? What's that? Zen Market is an amazing service to help nerds like us buy cool stuff from Japan, like <sighs> games, figures, books, and more. But how does it work? Well, why don't we just show you? <gasps> just go to zenmarket.jp and click sign up. You can create an account from scratch or do it via existing accounts like Google. Then, just use this pull down here to pick where you want to start shopping, like Yahoo Japan Auctions, Amazon, or other Zen Plus affiliates, and use the search bar to look for stuff. We can try KOF for starters. Wow! Look at all the cool stuff! But, how do they make money? Well, you pay a small fee for every item when they purchase it. But how much is that? It's only 300 yen per item. And it covers 45 days of storage while you keep shopping to make it easy to send all your stuff at once. On top of that, there isn't any charge for packaging all your stuff together. And there's even an option to reinforce the box for 1,000 yen to make it even safer to travel. But do I have to have anything weird to have money in my account? Oh no. They support PayPal, debit cards, and even WISE, bank transfers, and more. So no matter where you're ordering from, you can handle it easily. And even better, for us English speakers, they have native English-speaking customer service, which I've definitely benefited from. And if you sign up, you get all sorts of bonuses, such as 300 yen free, making your first item free of the service fee. Or even better, 600 yen for using our code SYNCHRONIZE2. That means two items with no service fee. Wow. Well, what if there's stuff I can't find on here? Ah, check this out.
Here, you can add the URL for any item you find on any Japanese site, and they can purchase it that way for you. This is great for items you might find on Surugaya, Hardcore Chocolate, Hakaba no Garo, Book Off. You get the idea. If you can find it, they can buy it. Ooh, can I finally buy a life-size Gundam I can get in and pilot around? It was worth a shot. So once you've picked out what you want, you pay for the item and the shipping to the warehouse, plus the 300 yen. They order it, it arrives, and they'll even notify your email when your item comes in. And once you're ready, you just click parcels, select everything you want shipped, enter your details, select shipping method, they'll package it up. I personally use DHL, but you pick what's best for you. Just pay for the selected shipping costs, and that's it. And just a few short days later, you get a package like this. Ooh, that was fast. <laughs> Dude, Mike was in the same position laughing. I believe you really were. Oh my god, that was weird. That, that was kind of creepy. Was like perfect, right? Oh my god. We take those. Yeah. We take those. So there you go. That's so I, I honestly agree with you guys in the chat. We need the VHS filter. Dude, I wanted it so bad, but we and just like couldn't get it going. We couldn't right get it going in time, but that's okay. We can tweak this, and then I want the cheesy music. Like I'm gonna find oh, some right, like right. like loyalty like, free cheesy music uh, on like, YouTube or if something. If we could have done like the old Wii Shop music, like that would have been awesome. Dude, but, you know, that's we need such something a good like music. of that. Yeah, we need so, something that like nature. that. <laughs> I just like the Wii music in general. Dude, the sh but, but, the, but the shop one is great because it was like um like um a home shopping network, you know, music. Dude, it was so smart for them to make the music good because it made browsing the site so pleasant. Yes, it did. And thank you so much, Soul Bruce Lee. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it as well. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, we are such goobers at times, but I love it. That's why we do this. Yes, Sigma Nuts and Cat Butts. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Hand me my cat. tea, please. Oh, that's Soul Bruce Lee's own cat dance. Nice. Oh, yeah, that cat dance is amazing. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. You're going to have fun. You're, you're going to have fun. Trust. Yeah, I've, I've already been building the next package. It's terrible. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, give us like two to three more weeks and we'll have something else okay. to unveil. With, yeah, with any luck, I'm going to be able to do one more unboxing before Evo. Oh you my, my god. Yeah, I just put everything. Okay, okay. Do you want your shirt? You uh, want to see your shirt? Later, later. You want your shirt? You want your shirt? You want your shirt? You want your shirt? Okay, you don't get it. <laughs> But uh, outside of that, I mean, is there anything else, you guys? I mean, honestly, it was like a short show, you know, not too much news right now. But we're telling you, like, the show before Evo is going to be kind of nutty. I'm oh, just okay. telling you. Okay. I'm just <laughs> telling you. Prepare. Yeah, Prepare yeah. for hype. Yeah, and again, we're all just really excited to see what's... I mean, I still don't know what the what the word is on... If China could make it to Evo at this point, I don't know if anybody else has actually um, said anything. Yeah, and about I feel that. and I feel bad because like a few people I know in other countries, like they can't get vaxxed yet still. Yeah. Or they are not vaxxed, so they can't come. Like I know so. I know like I think the Taiwan guys can show up, so I think like E. T. is still yeah. showing up and stuff like okay, that. But that's good. I heard there's a potential chance that Xiao Hai might not even be able to make it, which would be really a shame because obviously that's the whole point of Evo is that's where everyone everybody goes. goes. And finds it's out, the, right? the biggest international fighting game event. So the one, the one place where you are truly invited to fuck around and find out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Basically, Talk about yeah. a new slogan. God, yeah. that's perfect for Evo this year. That's like the best slogan ever. We have to make a like, joke Like, fuck sticker. around and find out, smiley face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now you will find out. Back up all that talk that you have. Uh -huh. Spent two, two years, years of talking the good two shit. Two years of Twitter. Uh -huh. Twitter Tuesdays every day for the last two years. Dude. Here is your chance to let your steam out and do your yeah. shit and fuck around and find out. Because I, I really want to see how it's going to end up because like 
the way evil always works is that there's always that one person you weren't expecting to be in there, and they're always using some crazy character, and so I just want to oh, see yeah. some I'm, weird... I'm fully prepared the, for the some out dark of horse pocket, top 32. Yeah, yeah the, the out-of-pocket characters that yeah. just start winning and annihilating everyone because everybody was so I, focused on see, top tier. If I see, like, a top 16 Ramon, I will actually cry. <laughs> I hope... I hope you get that. I really do. I don't, because do. then I'm going to feel really bad. Well, he, uh, you know, whoever does that, if they do do that, they when, they're, when they make top 8 or top 16, like, honestly, it's just like, okay, now you can switch. Dude, you proved I mean, your point. You honestly, proved your point. Honestly, all I could just picture is the is the Hawkeye gif, right? <laughs> don't give me hope. <laughs> I'm, I'm more imagining, like, you top 16 with Ramon. Why don't you just play a good character? Right. <laughs> I mean, Shao Hai could probably do it. Oh no, right? my god! So, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, that's literally him just playing two characters, at right? That point. Yeah. And Aww. like by that logic, yeah, maybe. It's like a sudden death battle. Mm. Add Ramon to your team if you, you're that confident. I mean, you might as well just play one hander at that point. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, a lot of those Chinese players are good at doing that. So yeah, because you're smoking with the other hand, yeah, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I always know, like, Combo Jack could do that really well, mm. too. <laughs> oh, Combo Jack. Yeah. Uh, all right. So the biggest question of all. Mm. What do we close out on? Oh. Mm. Mm. Uh, so actually. Like a Fickle Fury motion picture song or something that we can use? Or... I'm he just of... asked that. Yeah, I mean, we've done that before, but I'm still, like... Are we allowed right, yeah. to? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we not, just, not can you just game, play, like, the first, like, five seconds of it at least? <laughs> Let's not risk it. Humor Let's me, not damn it. it. 98 Do UMFE? It, or, uh, uh, no, I'm well, thinking, oh. I'm thinking, because uh, I remember I've been looking at uh, another semi-obscure SNK game and listening to its soundtrack. Uh -huh. Oh, that's right. And uh, I think that would be a valid one to go. Sure, what do you want? But, what, like, what was hype? Do you know the hype song from it? Because there's a lot of good songs from it. But I'm, I'm going like to say the that, that game's version of Rhythmic Hallucination. So what, what was the name of the game again? Or it was a... Uh... All right, uh, Sky Stage. That's what it was, yeah. And then Rhythmic. Hallucination. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's probably easier if you put KOF Sky Stage. But yeah. It's, yeah. It is, right? That, I, I, maybe, probably. Well, that's, I don't think that How, is, but. Do well, EX Farmville. Wow. That's an ad for EX But one day. Yeah. Let's see if that's the right one. Let's see. It's the right one. It's not, but is it? It, it might doesn't be a, sound like it. Is it? It's not quite the same one. It's still no, good. No, it's it's still good, but it's not the one yeah, exactly the one. you were looking for. But that's okay. I mean, this says this was released as a bonus for the PSP game. So it's an alternate version. Yeah, it's okay. just a different version, but you know. I didn't even know there was a PSP release of Sky Stage. <laughs> right. Neither did I. Okay. If you could play That's good it, enough. Like, I wonder if you could play it like vertical, you know, <laughs> on the PSP. I right? doubt it. Maybe on the Vita, yes, but like regular PSP, highly. No. But yeah, Sky Stage is one game I really want 15 to get the soundtrack for with all the little like soundtrack patches it's getting. Yeah, Sky Stage is the uh, shmup. With literally Kyo and Yori like flying, right? And shooting yeah. six shit characters. Down. Yeah. And Terry. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> my right. my's in it too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so yeah, there Sky we go. Sky Stage is fun. Sky Stage. Good old Sky Stage. I might actually have to like bust down again. I yeah, I need to see it. Still just got the right idea. Let's go enjoy some Colston. I was just gonna say it's time for Animal Crossing. Also, tweet I tweeted it. That was Anyways, okay. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye. Love you all. Bye.